I really don't want to sound like a broken record, but seriously, this series is so damn good. I just can't understand how we're nine episodes in and it has yet to really fall down or just feel mediocre. This is somehow keeping up a level of consistency and quality that other anime just don't go for. And after seeing what this series is doing, I just hope more will follow in its footsteps and not just go typical cliche. There's nothing wrong with being cliche if you do your own thing with it. But Demi-chan is just... This is great. This was a Sato as well as Yuki episode. Hikari got left to the side for once here, and I love Hikari. She's my favorite character, but after this week, Sato is more or less tied with Hikari, I have to say. I am glad that they were spending some time on some of the characters that hadn't had in much time as Hikari as the others, as this is a medium-sized cast, and Hikari seemed to be the main female of the cast here. So I'm glad we got half an episode with Sato and then half an episode with Yuki, and both of them had amazing content, but the first have definitely is what stole the show to me. Seeing Sato's character and seeing her just get drunk and just talking to her teddy bear saying about how much she just loves Sensei and how she's getting hot and bothered and she's like having these weird fantasies while she's drunk. And then the characters from the previous week there is calling her up, you know, saying, hey, you just got to do something. You're always waiting around for things to happen. But by the time you're ready to do something, he's going to be taken by another girl. So you need to start using your succubus powers, your charm and your sex appeal to get him on board. And she's starting to do that. And they're kind of having a conversation in the in the club room there. You know, she's talking, she's explaining how everything works. And Sensei just once again shows how much of a great guy he is. He's saying... Just because you have this aphrodisiac, this like allure that if you show some skin, males immediately get attracted to you, is no different than any female. What is different from you showing your skin that has this sort of allure, this kind of sex appeal, when there are women who pretty much dress sexually to show off their body, and that gets males and females as well to get attracted to them? What makes you different? You're literally identical. That doesn't change who you are. That doesn't take away. Like, that's not what people are getting attracted to. That's just part of what makes you who you are and once again that's something else that only he has ever said to her and it just makes her fall in love with him even more i love how they're portraying her love as think about it if you were a succubus you would have to hide because who truly loves you your people are just coming after you because you have this power but since he puts it in such a broad light no that's part of what makes you who you are like it's the same way with someone with nice hair or good eyes or good lips or big breasts whatever it may be that's just what people liked, you know? That's what drew people in. Sure, you may have something that's more broad that affects a majority of people, but that's still part of you. People aren't just attaching to you because of that one effect. That is who you are. And just to see how happy that makes her, but also, like, she's realizing, you know what? I love what he said, but I'm gonna still kind of control it and see what I can do with my abilities. And as she's zipping up her hoodie there. There's a bit of fan service. I just her breasts get kind of caught and they jiggle. And that was just done so tastefully that you see the reaction on Sensei's face. He's just like, holy hell, I gotta keep a straight face. But she notices the blushing and it makes her so happy because she's like, well, maybe I can use this. Maybe I could start doing this a bit more just so I could see him embarrassed. And it makes her so happy. I love that. There was so many great facial reactions with Sato and Sensei and just all the individual characters, even some Hikari and Yuki stuff near the end. But that first half of the episode if that's all we have this episode, 10 out of 10 episode. I'm going to be 100% honest. This is a fantastic episode. But even the second half, we get a bit more with Yuki as she sees like what Sato's doing. She's trying to learn how to control her abilities a bit more. She says, well, what if I could control mine? Because my abilities are this cool air. I can freeze things when I'm uncomfortable or I'm upset. So what if I could control it just to help people out as it is getting hotter? So there's some cute stuff there as well, some growing. But really, I think the Sato stuff is what stole the show. But I have to say, I'm just impressed. It's such a basic idea. We have like four demis. You you would think after four or five episodes, even eight episodes, you would use up all the material you would have for them learning about their abilities, Sensei learning about what makes them unique, but still they're taking small aspects in just different episodes. They're expanding on those small aspects and ideas, and it's making it such an amazing series. Like seriously, there is very little to complain about this series. There's sometimes some animation dips, but mine is the actual content. Like I was thinking that by the time the season wrapped up, I would feel like some of the characters got swept on the rug. But based on what they do 
with this episode, I don't think that's going to be the case anymore. I think by the time episode 12 wraps up, I think I'll have had enough time with each of the characters that I feel content to call this a near-perfect series, to be 100% honest. Sure, if people did enjoy the first couple episodes, they're probably not going to have a lot of fun with this series. It's not going to be for them. But as for myself, I'm loving the direction the series is heading. We're almost done this season. I mean, the season as a whole is almost done, which is crazy as I've been enjoying this season a lot. There's a lot of comedy, but there's a lot of little individual hidden gems throughout the season. I've been having a blast with it. But Demi definitely is one of the highlights of the season for me. I cannot wait to see how the final few episodes wrap up. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What was your favorite moment and why? Let me know and be sure to hit that like button to show your support. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.